Oh guys, welcome back to the how-to series. I think this is number four. And what I was going to do with this one, is just a quick little rundown how to catch pike offshore. I know a lot of guys, especially here in southeast Queensland, love going out and chasing jewies, and pike are a very, very good bait for them. But a lot of people can't catch the pike offshore, especially when it, the sun goes down at night time, you'll see pike come up from the reefs. And when you're float lining, they'll pinch your snapper baits and your pilchards. Um, with their teeth, they'll wreck up your leader and just be a raw pain in the butt. Occasionally you can jag one, but I've come up with a little method a while ago on how to catch quite a lot of pike offshore easily without changing your rig every couple of seconds uh, for dewy baits and cobia and everything else that eats them. Okay, so let's get into this. This be a nice little short, quick video. First thing you're going to need, just a little 2500, little little light outfit. This one, my flathead outfit, so 2500, eight pound braid, little light fork, oh, what's that, three kilo stick, I think. Um, okay, with eight pound braid, first thing you're going to need, I, I run, I put a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader on it. So that's 20 pounds, that's actually a rock, that one. Okay, it's very simple. I use a Lumo tube, I've got Lumo tube here. I use this for two reasons. One, it does seem to attract them. When you charge it up, it glows and doesn't, pike don't shy away from it at all. And the second thing is it does help to protect your line from their teeth. Okay, so let's put a bit of tube on. I don't know where my glasses are today, so I'm try trying to do this without glasses. It's fun, bear with me. So tube, just a small sinker. You are fishing offshore, with a little bit of current, so you want your bait to get down. So I'm just running like a little zinky here, something like uh, that. If you're going to use balls, there's like size ones or something like that. Just a small sinker, just so the bait sinks slowly. You don't want to go on down like a brick. Okay, I've got that. Sinker. Now the key factor. Small gang hooks. Just go get yourself some small gang hooks, guys. See? Just some nice small gang hooks. And all we're gonna do is put them on. So I'll tie it on here. Oop, miss that. Hey. There you go, just quickly tie this on. Uh, this is just a quick little how to catch pike, okay? And it works very, very well. So just tie that on quickly. So you just cut off the tag. Hopefully I'll cut the right end there. Beauty. <laughs> okay, so here's your pike rig. That's all I use to catch pike offshore. It's a deadly little rig, catches lots of pike. And the bait, the bait is very simple. If you've got pilchards, fill it a pilchard. Put a fillet on your gang hooks, just one fillet. If you've got yakas or slimies or something, Fill it, then cut it into like quarter it. Just making the nice little, little strips, just cut it into strips. Just enough to cover the gang torques. Little thin strips. And then you basically, once you've got a thin strip of, you know, flesh on there or fill a pilchard, just throw it out away from the boat, you know, 20, 30 feet. Let it sink down slowly. And once you get to smid water, you'll get pike. Just pike after pike on this rig. And so far since I've been using this rig with gang torques and the tube, I haven't had to change a leader yet. I can go and catch 10 pike in a row and not change a leader. This thing works an absolute treat. And if you're a jewelry fisherman offshore and are struggling to catch pike, give this a crack, guys. It's an awesome little rig that works well. And there is a video on my channel of me catching pike on this rig. Um, I'll put a link to the description down below. Okay, so you can watch me use it and catch pike. And I'll see you, uh, well, tomorrow in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.